You won't believe what I found on the Library of Congress. New correct map of the flat surface stationary Earth. This was published in 1920. The book is The Enlightenment of the World, Proof That the Earth is Flat and Stationary While the Sun, Moon, and Stars Are All in Constant Motion by John G. Abizade. One of the beginning pages of the book. Listen. This is the true map of the flat stationary Earth by a Syrian American professor, John G. Abizade. I have published this map to reveal the true posture of the Earth. First, to help the people in recognition of the fact that the earth is flat and does not move. Second, so that the young people in schools and in higher positions may have the benefit of the truth. There are many proofs that this subject is true, and you'll be sure to find it in my book, The Enlightenment of the World. The theory of the round and floating earth is false, and you should not believe in it as long as you yourself can see and feel that the earth is a plain object and is standing still and you will see that the sun the moon and the stars are daily in motion arrive every day from east to west this is on the library of congress do you know what does it matter what they lied it matters because it controls the way you think do you know that god says that dry land is earth earth is not a planet stationary singular earth is the dry land for which all physical beings human and otherwise inhabitate inhabitant yeah i'm saying that right right you think we're on a floating ball in space and that it's just a pebble okay but it's not so life is more than we know okay when you understand that you live on a flat, stationary plane, you take back control of this. You have no clue how the belief systems has controlled your rate of thinking. You have no clue. You don't understand it. You're magnetic. You don't understand toroidal fields. You don't understand how your toroidal field is connected with the toroidal field of the earth plane, the dry land, everything around us. It's all energy. This was on the Library of Congress. <laughs> You can think whatever it is that you want to think, and you can call me whatever name, whatever way of being you want to call me. Hey, that is all in you. You're only ever going to reap what you sow, so boo-boo, you do you, okay? But I believed the earth was around for many, 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 many years of my life, and in doing so, my morality was out the window. But now that I know the truth, I live right, the way, and the light, period. You can't sway me from God's ways. You can't. So it does matter a huge deal of what you believe because you are as you think if then you experience your beliefs. And if you continue to believe a lie, then that lie will propagate in your world. And that's why it's so dark because we've allowed the lie to propagate. No more. It is the truth that will set us free. Plain and simple. Why else would you put something like that on the Library of Congress? Maybe because it's true? Nobody seems to agree on anything these days. But there is one thing that a lot of people agree upon. Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Chile, the French Republic, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, South Africa, the Soviet Union Republic, United Kingdom, Northern Ireland, and the United States of America. They all signed the Antarctic Treaty. The Antarctic Treaty keeps people out of Antarctica. You can't go to certain places. And everybody agreed on it. Well, not everybody. Those 12 countries agreed upon it, signed an agreement that makes it so you and I or any normal person cannot go into certain areas of Antarctica. You know the only reason they agreed upon this is because they don't want us to know what's going on there. It's crazy though, because the governments of this world can't seem to agree on anything but the Antarctic Treaty. You know what the Antarctic Treaty makes me want to do? Makes me want to go to Antarctica. Makes me want to walk into Antarctica and go into the places we're not supposed to see. Whatever they don't want us to know about, I want to know. This is why space travel is impossible and why Antarctica is literally banned from exploration. In the Bible, God made a firmament that divided the waters from above and below. He called the firmament heaven. So if God made a dome that separated earth from heaven, that would mean that we couldn't get through it if we tried. Let's tie it into Antarctica. Some people say that NASA was created for one purpose. To keep us from looking into the research of Admiral Byrd. Admiral Byrd discovered near the South Pole, uncharted land, livable, unicy land. This is said to be the residing place of Enoch who walked alongside God and was eventually taken up into heaven. He even prophesied Noah to his son Methuselah, and Noah's roles in restoring humanity after the flood. This land discovered was known in the Book of Enoch as the ends of the earth, and this land was also filled with angelic beings. 
Suspiciously, Admiral Byrd passed away after he aired his findings on national television. One year after his death, NASA was formed. A year after NASA was formed, the Antarctic Treaty was formed. Every single country who has formed this treaty has been through some sort of war or global disagreement. Yet, out of all the treaties that they broke together, this treaty was not one of them. Because their goal was to make Antarctica unexplorable. And they were going to use all the power that they could to keep us from the secrets of Antarctica. This land is also said to be where the angelic beings still live. Such as Nephilim, giants, aliens, and many more. So is NASA lying to us to keep us from the fact that God created a very intentional Earth? and to further pass the Big Bang and evolution narrative. That's for you to decide. Send the results uh, to, to the ground. There's one that's really exciting. Take NASA. Coming up. Look um, at the lights has, coming mean, through it's, it's brain the body. Together, the lights the behind them brains, which is a very simplified model. are coming through. Look at it's in front. We are back with another goody, good, good. So just the other day, 90% of the world shared something in common and that apparently was sunlight so as you can see over here that's just about the entire earth that shared the same sunlight now as we've all been taught the reason why it's dark on the other side of the earth because of our little ball that we live on. Cute little ball that we live on. So now you explain to me how if the sun is right about there where you guys are looking at this ball, how it goes all the way to the opposite side <laughs> of the globe when everything we've been taught our whole entire lives contradicts this little miracle <laughs> let me know what you guys think um i'm a firm believer this is only possible on a flat terrain hashtag earth is flat <laughs> real paper How'd they get this photo? How'd this photo get back to Earth? Yo, I was sitting here on my bed and I woke up and I saw the videos about them Chinese balloons and I thought to myself, I said, wait a damn minute. Ain't no damn Chinese balloon. That's another one of them things they trying to cover up when they say all these satellites up there in space and don't, it ain't, ain't no space that exists at all. So what happened was all of them started falling inland where they weren't supposed to go because we weren't never supposed to see them. So these are our satellites that the so-called space station be putting out there. So now they trying to cover it up, trying to call it Russian and China balloons trying to throw us off. They're, they're the so-called satellites that we got from the NASA space station. We weren't supposed to see that. So they had to come up with something else to tell us. That's what that is. They effed up. I don't know. We're going to have to do something. <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's doing a flip here. right here and the guy next to him just reaches up and grabs a harness that's right on his hip. Oh, yeah, I got to gotta pause it real quick. I'm going to pause it because yeah, the funniest part to me, well, there's several funny parts, by the way. I don't know, but the lady in the background with the hair, yeah, yeah. it's like, it's like, did someone not think that, like, like we've got to make her hair look like that, right? right. It's got to be standing up. Yeah. Dude, it's hard as a rock. It's oh, not yeah, moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, like, it's like, we must be in space. Look at her hair. Like, uh, obviously, you know, there's a thing called hairspray. Yeah, so. Here goes this guy doing a backflip. Yeah. And, he, and then gravity just, like, gravity goes away. He must have found a pocket. Yeah, gravity goes away and he fell. Yeah, yeah. Or he got caught up in that harness he's wearing. Here comes the Wilma Senior. Yeah, right? yeah. In the background. Yeah. Holy hell. And it's obviously Here's a, an era. a guy filming with a green tennis ball in front of a blue screen. Right. Clearly, I mean, it's not even... And then here's a clip of what they turned it here's into. Here's his water particle. Yeah. yeah. Wow. This guy just disappears like, oh, yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, I'm good to go. Hey, I got, I got to go. Yeah. Yeah, what we got back there? Another green screen? 
And this guy, just the ones where they're doing the, fl- yeah, he's hanging, hanging his shirt. Artist. Like you can see, like, yeah, <laughs> it's not even. Good. You can clearly see the artist. It's like if you take your hands right now and you grab your shirt and you just pull out. Yeah, like it's. Yeah, this one's my favorite right here. The guy shirt. goes to reach for. Yeah, yeah. What a what a dude. No, but watch their thing at the end. I think this guy's always in it, man. He's he's he's, he's the biggest always, clown. Yeah, he's the worst. Like they got to be like, hey Bob, we got to get you out of here, bro. You're, you're blown out. Look at this. Let me reach up yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, come fool. Here, I'm going to pause it real quick. Yeah. I'm going to pause it real quick. All right. So. We have to. we got to expand So I imagine, I imagine this guy in the green that's doing this flip, like when they're practicing, like, oh, this guy's got the shit, man. He he nails every flip and you can never tell, right? So he's like the practice king of flips. But then whenever they go to film, he gets nervous and he spoofs it up and grabs his harness. Because he is. Yeah. The most he's Ray Finkel. Yeah, yeah. Terrible, man. <laughs> They hide the truth in plain sight. Look at the map of the flat earth displayed in all these symbols. On the United Nations flag. It's the symbol of the World Meteorological Organization. It's the symbol of the International Maritime Organization. It's also the symbol of the International Civil Aviation Organization. It is also the symbol of the World Health Organization. They shove it in our faces. Antarctica isn't a continent and space is fake because of this. Now, let me explain to you exactly why. Now, some of you may not even know this guy, but in the late 1700s, he actually sailed around Antarctica. And some people may be thinking, so what's the big deal? Well, he was actually on this voyage over a period of three years. And what's very interesting is over that three-year period, he sailed over 60,000 miles around Antarctica. Now, just with a quick Google search, it says that Antarctica's circumference is about 9,900 miles, meaning he could have literally sailed around this about six times or more, which is interesting because we're told to believe that it's just a frozen piece of ice on the bottom of a ball earth. Now get this, even modern day science says that the circumference of Earth is about 25,000 miles. So this dude could have literally went around Earth more than two times. Now fast forwarding to 1940s, there was a military operation called Operation High Jump. Get it? Operation High Jump? Um, yeah. Pretty high if you ask me. Now seeing this may have really intrigued him at the time, and some say that this is possibly the discovery of the ice wall. Now preceding that, you got Operation Deep Freeze, which was around 1955. So first off, you got Operation High Jump, 1946, Operation Deep Freeze, 1955, and both were led by Admiral Byrd. Now after this operation, some speculate that they actually found the firmament, and I'm going to tell you why. But before I do that, I just want to let you know that the beloved NASA was actually founded in 1958, shortly after all this happened. But it's uh, probably just a coincidence. And coincidentally, a year later, in 1959, the Antarctica Treaty was signed. Nothing to see here. Go back to sleep. Now, getting back on track as to why I said they might have found something in Operation Deep Freeze, because here in 1962, you got Operation Fishbowl. Now, ain't that a curious thing to call it? Now, let me share something to you that's written in God's Word, and it's in the book of Job. Hast thou with him spread out the sky which is strong and as a molten looking glass? Now you can check this out. This is old footage of Operation Fishbowl when they're sending up these missiles into the air. But look what's going on. It looks like it's hitting something, hitting some barrier. Maybe the Bible's true. Maybe the sky is strong. Hey, tick tock. So, you know, I was thinking, guys, what makes people think they live on a globe, a spinning ball in a vacuum with no evidence? We don't have any curve, motion, gravity, never been detected or proven scientifically. It's interesting. Made me think. Then it dawned on me. It's like, well, what do you mean? We just have propaganda constantly. I mean, it's just everywhere from a baby. You're given a globe, right? You know, in your in your, in your little play set, elementary school, dinosaurs. It's all... You know, it's all there and it's all to to kind of set the foundation for what you're going to see, what you're going to think and how you will perceive that information. And you know, about not too long ago, a year or so ago, man, Fortnite here had a season two and, and I thought it was real interesting, man. You got, 
got the leaders sitting around a table, and this is actually a dome, right? This is actually a dome. When they come down to level, to uh, eye level status, this is a dome. And I was like, <laughs> that's interesting. A level plane with a dome, enclosed system, white white wall going around, like interesting. Now I didn't get too crazy on the on the uh, the past season. I didn't want to. I didn't want to jump the gun, but I did bring it up to my child, and I, you know, I talked to him. I pointed out some things. But then the uh, uh, the newest season had came out, and guys. <laughs> This is propaganda. That is flat earth propaganda 101. This is how they get to the children, right? So they got to our generation with all the stuff in the textbooks and the little, oh, the boat getting blown. It's going off the edge. (laughs) And then we get to this stuff where when you're a little older, you can play video games and now they're trying to really capture your imagination. You're in space. You're fighting evil forces. Now that's all cool and I get it. But you know, when I started seeing that, uh, that, that, uh, the past picture, the past image, it made me think, where have I seen that before? Yeah, Hunger Games, same exact situation. You have a bunch of elites that force people to compete or, to, you know, for their life or money, whatever, whatever it is. And they're inside of a, a, a dome, a level plane with a dome, an electromagnetic dome. What do you know? It's electrical. They end up breaking through, but that's, that's not the point. The point is... Everything is constantly thrown in our face in music, movies, news, whatever it is, all the propaganda is there. I know, I know we have still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling, but someday someone will, and hopefully sooner than we might think right now. It may be hard to see tonight, but we are all standing under a glass ceiling right now. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you. It's got about 18 million cracks in it. 